Hot Springs Village Inside Out is a closer look at the greatness of Hot Springs Village, Arkansas and the surrounding areas, people, places, experiences. Hot Springs Village is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Join me, Randy Cantrell, and my co-host Dennis Simpson as we engage in weekly conversations to explore Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Today's show is brought to you by Central Arkansas's favorite radio station, KVRE. Find them on the dial at 92.9 FM. Stream them live at kvre.com. Remax of Hot Springs Village. The award-winning Remax of Hot Springs Village is the largest real estate office inside the village with over 30 full-time agents and support staff. Visit them to learn more about this beautiful place to solve your real estate needs. Call them today at 1-800-364-9007. Find them online at explorehsv.com. They are Remax of Hot Springs Village at 1-800-364-9007 or online at explorehsv.com. Ike Eisenhower State Farm. Ike and his award-winning team have been serving the insurance needs of folks all around Hot Springs Village since 1998. Ike has qualified for State Farm's President's Club, Chairman's Circle, and Hot Springs Village Insurance Agent of the Year. Call Ike Eisenhower State Farm today at 501-984-4100. That's 501-984-4100. Find them online at IkeEisenhower.net. Call them today for all your insurance needs because, like a good neighbor, Ike Eisenhower State Farm is there. Again with Miss Clara Nicolosi. Clara, how are you today? I am great. How are you today? I'm well, and we were just discussing how what it usually was a beautiful April day, and now it's just downright cold. Well, I wasn't sure if it was April or November which which season we were in but i'm thankful for the rain to help knock us pollen down right now oh it has been biblical hasn't it diane was asking me she said well when are you going to put your new chairs and your new upholstery you know out in the little the, the little window here behind mm -hmm. me and i said as soon as the squirrel tails start falling like rain because i mean it literally <laughs> there are times for those of you in arkansas that, uh, that aren't in arkansas there are times when the oak blooms and there's little squirrel tails, little bee pollen, you know, flowers of sorts. And you can sit outside and just be covered in them. It's like they just rain down. But as Miss Clara brought up, when there's a decent rain, all is better. All is better. All is better. All, we, I think it paints our sidewalks with yellow when it rains. So. I think that's a good idea. But, uh, well, I should have brought up the cartoon. The little boy looks outside and he said, Mom, Mom, Dad, it pollened last night. <laughs> it pollened last night. <laughs> That's definitely what it looks like outside. Because that's what it's like. Well, today we're talking about, and, and it's interesting that you brought this up because the Cancer Walk is a big event here in the village, and you've always been a great sponsor of that. But it's not just monolithic. The Cancer Walk applies to a lot of different things. What are we doing this time? Well, interesting that you mentioned that, Dennis. See, the Cancer Walk became its own 501c3 last year. And in doing that, we realized that we needed to create a, a board of directors. Melanie Peterson sits as the chair of our board of directors, where Nikki Choice and myself are co-chairing the actual walk this year for the second time. And some of the mandates by being our own 501c3 is to actually have other outreach events in our community. And what we're working on is our actual second doc talk for 2023. And this is gonna be so interesting. We're actually one, one of the organizations that actually got proceeds from the walk last year is the American Cancer Society, who is right here in central Arkansas. You know, we say we keep those monies right here for cancer research and cancer related projects. And the American Cancer Society was one of our one of our organizations that reached out to us. Well, they have agreed to come back and share with us about how hard it is to get legislation passed in order for people to get the medical care they need, to get the testing and to get the things aligned on the government side of the house so that we, we can move forward with cancer research. So we're real excited about our upcoming doc talks 
on Friday, May 12th. This will be from 11.30 to one, and we will be at Diamani, and it, the lunch is provided. So it's gonna be a great time. We'd love people to come out and be a part of our doc talks, understand the legislative portion of, of, of getting medical care uh, initiatives to happen. And obviously we'll be talking about the walk. It's coming up at the end of September. Well, you know, Claire, we're coming up on two years of, of you and I doing interviews and such, and it's always been a delight. And you know, I'm a super simple guy. Okay. And I mean, simple by the time when you talk about legislation, I'm thinking, uh, I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill, you know, I, that kind of thing, you know, and, and I remember thinking in that particular cartoon, they talked about all buses should stop at at railroad crossings. Well, that's a good idea. When I got to basically Washington and when I met legislators, one of the first things they would ask is, who's on the other side of this? I was like, what? I remembered thinking, who, because I put it in my simple brain, who would be on the other side of wanting to stop a bus at a crossing? Well, that's just common sense, right? Right. No, there's resistance to every kind of legislation at every time. You and I would think, well, that just makes common sense that, that this type of Medicare program or this type of cancer reduction program. No, there's somebody on the other side of that, if you know what I mean, right? Every time. Totally. Yeah, there, there's always someone on the other side. And there's always that the government and, and their assistance uh, allows to have the money free flowly as well. I mean, money's the root of all of cancer research, whether it's our cancer walk here that helps with that, or, you know, state level organizations, universities, or even the government. I mean, it, it costs a lot of money. Matter of fact, one of the things that we're really, really pleased about this year is the Carti Foundation and some of the testing that they're going to be doing. And the $13,000 that we shared with Carti that was strictly for lung screenings, strictly. It, it costs money to make this happen. And it takes legislation to get the money in the right hands and the right people so that we can continue to move forward. You know, you and I have talked about this, Dennis, cancer touches everyone. If it's it, not it, you, if it's not a family member, it's, it's a close neighbor, it's someone you work with, someone, you know, someone you read about on Facebook. We all, we all have someone that is dealing with cancer on some level in, in our lives. From, from skin cancer to colon cancer to prostate cancer to breast cancer to fill in the blank, right? There, there is something that, that presses against us. These ladies that will be speaking, what are their expertise? I mean, I'm, I'm seeing the deal here, but are, are they doctors per se, or are they simply legislative consultants? I believe they're part of the action network coming from the American Cancer Society. And I hate to say that I don't, I don't know them personally, but I know that they are fantastic in their field. And I'm so looking forward to them coming and, and speaking and sharing with us where we're at. You know, we have such a great community here in Hot Springs Village, and we have a higher than normal percentage of folks that actually vote. And, and I just love the awareness that this will bring. So if this ever became something that we needed to vote on, we, we would have more knowledge on, on, on what is actually going on and, and how we could help support that from a community standpoint as well. It's funny you should say that because every time I call Bruce Westerman or any legislator or anybody and I say, I'm from Hot Springs Village, they say, tell me more. What have you got going on over there? Because they know the disproportionate numbers of villagers who vote. We vote. You may not agree with us and we may not always agree with each other, but we get out and vote, right? Absolutely. You know, we have the most giving, most best outreach folks. That's why our cancer walk is always successful each year, just by the, the large number of people that come out, not only to walk, but to support us and to support cancer research here in central Arkansas. And we're doing our part by, you know, helping the other organizations that are doing a great job with cancer research here in, in and around our community. So great opportunity for doc talks you know the one thing i keep stressing it's a free lunch at diamante and all you need to do is you two you have two choices you can go um, on our website which is walk for cancer research those are all words walk for cancer research.org forward slash events to register or you can just call melanie peterson and her number is 608-692-0458 and we'll put and, that under the, we'll put that under at, at the bottom of the screen that you might be able to see right now, it says lunch is provided, but it is limited to 50 people and you register it online at walkforcancerresearch.org slash events. I, I want to make 
something up clear, just very clear. And I know we have pressing time here, Clara, but I want to make very, very clear. Walkforcancerresearch.org, this is local. CARTI, Central Arkansas Radiational Therapy, that's local. These doc talks, these are local. These funds come to us and they stay in this area for local services. Am I right? Absolutely. You know, we we were so excited. We actually got to go see the Our Promise House about six weeks ago, or it might have been a month ago, where they're building the facility uh, in collaboration for folks that don't live in hot springs that have to come for cancer treatments. And it is a beautiful facility. We actually got to go in and see the, the building that's standing and, and we actually have uh, the, the subfloors are in and, and they're, they've got the wall dividers out. So we're moving forward to be there to help outreach and help those that, that need a helping hand when it comes to cancer and cancer research. Well, Clara, as always, a wonderful sponsor and, and cheerleader for the community. Love you. Thank you. Appreciate you sincerely. I'm going to speak on behalf of the community for 10 seconds. I don't think people appreciate you enough, Clara, and that's not because people are dissing you or whatever. People, they just don't know how much you give to this community, and I sincerely appreciate you, dear. Well, I thank you, Dennis. You know, I love the outreach of HSV Inside Out as well. My relationship with you and Randy, love it. And I I love the, uh, I, I consider you part of my portfolio of how to get the word out. And <laughs> and I, I love our relationship as well. You know, two and two, you know, make more than four. So I I, I love that relationship. And, and I think together as a community, no pun intended, we can do great things. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're exactly correct. May the 12th. 1130 to one at DeMonte. I heard the word free in there, if I'm not mistaken. Free lunch. Free lunch. Free lunch. We might ask you to be a member if you wanted to later, but that would be after lunch, right? Well, the worst thing that we're going to do is say, hey, you might want to consider registering for the Village Walk for Cancer Research. Worst well, thing let, 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 we got 30 seconds. Give us what their can't Walk for Cancer Research is for those that don't know. Absolutely. Well, the last Saturday in September, this year will be September 30th, we'll leave from the Balboa Pavilion. We are literally raising money for cancer research and cancer-related projects here in Central Arkansas. Last year, we raised $63,000 that we were able to, we actually raised more than that, we were able to give out $63,000 towards cancer related projects and cancer research. And we hope our, our goal every year is to outdo ourselves and our number is 75,000 this year. We'd love to help in and around our community uh, with $75,000 or more money. We've, we're almost at a million dollars that we've given locally. And we're so excited to continue and grow that number each year. Well, and this is Dennis Simpson with Clara Raise the Bar Nicolosi. We will <laughs> talk to you next time. Bye. Thanks, Clara. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching and listening to Hot Springs Village Inside Out, a weekly podcast starring Hot Springs Village, Arkansas. Visit the website at hotspringsvillageinsideout.com.